Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create a assembly line production kind of simulation that's pretty cool. So it looks something like this. This is just kind of a mock-up of it. If I hit play, it's in the first person template. These cubes come out. See that? And I destroyed them because otherwise they'll just keep piling up. So, you know, this could be used for a factory thing or whatever you want to imagine. And it basically just uses an AI controller. So I will be back in just a minute and show you how to do this. Okay, we're back. And to get started with this, we're just gonna go into games, first person. I'll just leave it called My Project 2. And we'll go ahead and create. I am not gonna save my previous project. You know, one summertime drink, if you want, you know, one asked for this, but you know, if you go down to Walmart, you can get Starbucks cold brew. It's already in the refrigerator section and you get that and some half and half. And then you just put that in a cup of ice. I swear it's the best <laughs> drink when you're programming and doing things in Unreal Engine because it seems like it lasts forever. And it's really nice on a, on a hot day. So anyway, we've got, here we are in the first person template and we're in uh, the blueprint folder here. And this is an interesting project. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. And I think it has a lot of application. The thing that's interesting about it is that although it seems simple, it's easy to get confused with this one. And I don't know quite why that is. I actually made some notes about what we're going to be doing just because I was finding it confusing. And so there's three things basically we're going to need and we're going to be using the level blueprint. So the one thing we're going to create is a destination point. So we're going to have assembly cubes. This is just going to be a, a blueprint actor and it's simply just going to be a sphere. It'll also have the ability to destroy the, the, the blocks when they get to the end of the, the assembly line because otherwise the blocks will all just back up. So we have to destroy it. So this will have a, it's basically just a, our marker for a destination point physical representation of our endpoint, and then it will also destroy the actors. Then we need to create a character blueprint, and that's going to have the ability to move the cube from a target destination to our destination blueprint, and that's going to have the AI move to function in it. And then lastly, we're going to have a target point that's already built into Unreal Engine, and we just simply drag that onto the scene, but then using the level blueprint, we're going to use that to spawn in our cubes. In this case, we're just going to be using cubes to spawn in at that target point. So the cubes will spawn in at the target point and use the moving to function. They'll travel to the destination point where they'll be destroyed. So it seems easy enough, but it's interesting that there's a couple settings that are very easy to miss. And it's very, it's very interesting. So it took me a while to get this all smoothed out. So to get started on this, the first thing we're going to create is the destination point. So I'm just going to right click, go to blueprint class actor, and I'm just going to call it what it is, which is BP underscore destination. Oops, destin. Let's just call it destiny. <laughs> and we'll leave it called that. And all it is, is it can be anything. I'll just go ahead and dock this up here, but it's just going to be a sphere. That's all it's going to be. And we'll come back in here later to add some functionality to destroy the cubes, but we can't do that right now because we haven't created the cubes yet. So that's all this is, is it's just a blueprint that's serving a destination location for the cubes. And then once that's done, we're going to right click, go to blueprint class, and we're going to create a character. And we're just going to call this BP underscore assembly block. And that's that. And this is going to contain our, if we double click into it, it's going to be a block. So we're going to go ahead and add a, not a sphere. I didn't want to add a sphere not a sphere, but we're going to add a cube, a cube here. And of course you can, you can put, you know, fancy these up and put materials on these cubes to make them look like boxes or whatever. And that's real easy to, to do. 
there's a, to know the tutorial I did on something like that. And so for here, we're going to go into our event graph. And this is going to actually be driven off of, uh, this is going to be off of the event begin play. So on event begin play, we're going to drag off of here and we want to get that destination point. So what we're going to put is we're not going to cast. We're going to go get, get actor of class. And this is just one way to uh, set up direct blueprint communication without actually casting. And our, our class is our BP destiny that we just created. And all we really want from that is its, its location. So then if we drag off of here, I should be able to put in get world location for the, it's really the sphere that I want, right? It's the sphere. Get world location for the sphere, wherever I put it at. And then we get this amazing function called AI move to. AI, whoops, it helps if I can spell. So I move to. And this is really the what causes our motion. So we put that in there. And then the target is going to be, you know, I'm thinking I don't even need the world location. I don't know why I put that on there. I really just need it as the target actor. So I don't need the destination in there. And then the pawn is this, this blueprint itself. So we're just gonna right click and search for self and get a reference to self. So we don't actually need the, not really the location of the thing, just that where it is, where it's located. So it knows to go after this actor, no matter, I guess, where it's actually located. But it's, they're kind of synonymous where the target actor is and the destination, so. But I just realized you don't need the actual destination, you just need the, the sphere as the actual target. And then that's all I believe that we have to do here and that's our assembly block and like I said you can add materials to these to make to dress them up and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create what's called a target point so if we come down here on our main play area and let's say we want the blocks to go from here across let me get rid of this wall and let me get rid of this gun just to clear some space in here and then I don't see it up here, but so we're going to go to window and look for place actors and we're going to search for target point and then just drag that onto the scene right there. Hit F, come down here, take a closer look at this and get this out of the way. There's our target point. I can drag it up a little bit, move it around here. It's hard sometimes to get your bearings. I'm gonna hit Alt and rotate so I can see a little bit better. So maybe just line it up right about there, that looks like, because I just want a straight line. Now while I have that target point there, let's go ahead and add a nav mesh before I forget. So that's what allows the AI to control things. So we'll type in nav and that should get us a nav mesh bounds volume and drag this on. And basically I hit the space bar and I need to just make this the size of our play area essentially. So I just click and drag these out. And if you want to see what this looks like, if you go under show and click navigation, you should see this green area and then our AI can travel anywhere on that green area. And then that's all we need. Now while we have that set up, we could go ahead and drag our BP Destiny on to it. And one thing I learned is that this actually needs to be in contact with the green area, this destination point. If it's not on this green area, then nothing will happen. So I think that's good. I think we're set up there. Let me hit the space bar and I can push, whoops, navigate that ball around a little bit. 
And then you can imagine if you created like a, you know, some kind of belt thing, you could see the blocks moving down a belt. But they're here they're just going to be moving on the ground. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is just create a uh, spawn in our AI cubes. So to do that, I'm going to go into the level editor, but I need to make sure I'm selected on the target point because then in the level blueprint, I can create a direct reference to that point and allow communication to occur. So I just come in here and I'll go open level blueprint and we're going to right click and get and I can go ahead and create a reference to that target point right there by right clicking and then I'm just going to go event tick and this is going to be now we want these to come off kind of sporadically like you can have them come off every so often but I prefer them to come off sort of in a random fashion so what we're going to do is we're going to drag off of here and get a delay node and it's going to be right there and then what we can do is this is a float variable so we can right click and search for random float uh, random float in range and then you can basically set the 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 periodicity, <laughs> periodicity of the how often you want it to come. So, like every, one between one and five seconds, uh, you'll will have a cube generated randomly. We don't know what it will be. It'll be kind of a surprise, and we just pop that into uh, duration. And then the last thing is we're going to get a spawn uh, AI. So just go spawn AI and for this, our class is going to be our BP assembly block. That's our class, so the cubes. And then here's where we would get world location. So from here, I can check this off because I, I believe it won't come in. If And we search for get world location, this one right here. And then this simply gets plugged into there. So in that first one, we just needed the target actor, not so much the destination here. We're actually using the, tar the target points world location. And then that should take care of that. So we compile and save that and we don't get any errors. And then the very last thing that we need to do is destroy our cubes. So if I come back in here to the BP destiny, and I go to the event graph. Actually, I can click on this sphere. Sorry about that. And we want to do on component begin overlap. And we want to go search for destroy actor. Destroy actor right there. And the target is going to be other actors, any other actor, which will be the cube, which should destroy it. And there's just a couple other things we need to do. We need to go into the level blueprint here and on, let's see, where are we? We're on, is it the, le it's the level blueprint, isn't it? Why do I feel like I'm missing something here? I click on this. No, I guess it's gotta be here on the assembly block itself. And if we come here and we search for pawn, we have to auto possess AI when it's placed in world or spawned. So I guess we can't do that from the level blueprint. There's nothing there, even though this is spawning it in that's not where we make that adjustment and i think there's there's one other thing i need to do is make sure let's see on the bp destiny on the sphere under collision we need to make sure that it it overlaps all dynamic objects so we overlap there compile and take that and on the assembly block 
we need to make sure that it generates overlap events. So let's see, generate overlap events, yes. And as far as I know, that should be everything. Sorry for jumping around there a little bit. But that should be everything. So if I come over here, oops, and I hit play, let's see if it works. We should see cubes coming from over here. There they come, and then when they hit that thing, they disappear. And they're coming randomly, yeah. So it's a assembly block, you know, it's assembly line function. It's really cool. It has a lot of application and potential. And it's pretty fun just to sit and watch, actually. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, and if you're not subscribed, please do. It, it gets me, keeps me inspired. And I try to make videos that are different from everybody else. I try not to just regurgitate the same thing everybody else is doing. So anyway, take care and have a great day.